Hey guys, welcome back to an episode of Fly Fish Dan. And I'm Fly Fish Dan. And I'm here with Brian and Mark. What's up guys? We are on, I'm gonna go ahead and hotspot this river because there's probably 40 people just right across it. So it's probably pretty well known. Nobody knows where this river is. Right, no one, this is the secret river, the Skagit secret river. And we are fishing for pinks today. So we all got some different setups. I'm, uh, I'm using my eight weight and I got this uh, kind of chartreuse and pink fly kind of woolly bugger so really new to me it's been a long time since I caught a pink and I've never caught one on a fly rod so this should be the first one for me on a fly rod I think uh, you guys have caught some before haven't you yep caught a few on a fly rod nice Not, none for me so this will be a first sweet so we got a couple newbies here Mark's gonna be the guide <laughs> all right all right let's go catch a pink salmon let's do this fish on So Mark had a good idea. I am putting on an indicator and I'm probably, I don't know, five feet from the fly. This is the, this is the part I edit out. There we go. So I'm gonna put on this indicator right about five feet above the fly and see if, uh, see if I can just almost like dead drift this woolly bugger, you can see here. I've got kind of a, it's really bright crystal flash and pink with a bead head and just kind of fish it with an indicator and see what happens because a lot of, a lot of these traditional fishers over here are using kind of like, almost like, is that like plunking? Is that what they call it? I don't know, but I'm going to see if this works. Give it a go. Try not to fall in. Oh, there's fish rising right there. Yep. <clears throat> This could be interesting. Checking my back cast here. Fish on! <laughs> no, I didn't get to take because how long we've been fishing, Mark? Uh, a, couple hours. a couple hours with nothing, and then I just switched over to this uh, white crystal. Oh, this is a nice, bright fish, too. This crystal, what did I call it? Like a crystal flash sparkle minnow. sparkle minnow. Yeah, that's right. On a sink tip. And I thought I hooked the bottom. <laughs> it wasn't the bottom. It's a nice bright fish too. Look at this guy. I think he's ready to go in the net. Here it comes. Nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> you made the knife around. Uh, see in the anchor? Yeah. I can't with your rod. You want to take my rod? Or can you get him? Anchor line. Is he still on the anchor? Yeah, he's on the other side. Don't break your rod. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh boy. Yeah. 
hand line them in. <laughs> Wrapped around the anchor and we are hand lining this thing in. Oh, all right. Go, Mark. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> nice job. Oh, oh, we hand lined it in. That's fantastic. Line got wrapped around the anchor and we hand lined them in. That's <laughs> so great. Oh, I didn't. I didn't think I debarbed it. Party foul. Very nice. Look at that guy. Sweet. All right, buddy. Go and spawn. Zoo. Hey, uh, nice job, Mark. <laughs> Hand lighting that fish in <laughs> and netting it. <laughs> not bad. It's not a day fishing without a few uh, shenanigans. <laughs> That's right. We certainly had one there. Let's catch another one, maybe with a little less drama. Sounds good. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> Let's do this. So just so you guys know what I did, I ended up putting on, I've got a seven foot fast sink sink tip on my floating line and about a nine foot leader and i put on a sparkle minnow you can see a white sparkle minnow and literally right when i put that on is when i hooked into that fish so that was a good change i've tried pink chartreuse chartreuse and now this uh sparkle minnow and that seems to be the ticket so that was the change up let's hope we uh get another fish Fish. So I'm just letting it swing at this point. Just giving a little bit of action as it swings. You got one? Fish on! Nice! Mark is hooked up. Oh, it's a pike minnow? I was wondering it wasn't really jumping around. You didn't get skunked. <laughs> Fish on! <laughs> I totally missed the take. I mean, you could get, you could film for like hours and then nothing, and then, whoa, and then all of a sudden, fish on. <laughs> the white sparkle minnow. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Thank you. Yeah, and some screaming offline. I got the best part on film anyway. For a minute, I thought I was just going to come in. Right. <laughs> nice. Oh, and that last pink, that was my first pink ever on a, well, ever. Oh, I fell hooked him. Well, did you? <laughs> I did. Oh. It's on his back. That's why he's fighting so hard. Nice, nice job. Oh, that's a nice fish too. That is a, did, no, he's in the mouth. Oh, okay. He just, he must've just got wrapped up. That is sweet. Look at that guy. That is a pink. Yeah. Here it is. Sweet. Fish on. <laughs> Nice. Ooh, and he's gone. Mark hooked up with his three weights. I love that. Oh, yeah. There he is right there. That's a good fish. Oh, he's trying to get out. Oh, he's unhooked now, too. Oh, Thank you nice. Marvelous. No kidding. Now, it looks like that one's starting to get a little bit of a hump. Yeah. Hold him up so we can see. Oh, yeah, look at that. Uh, oh, yeah. A little pink. It's 
beautiful. That really is a pretty fish. Ready to go. <laughs> Ready to go. <laughs> nice. So if you <laughs> so, so if you take a look at the well so if you look at the fish that Mark just caught, and really because of the power editing, that happened more like an hour ago, but let's reference back to it. You notice its back was starting to arch up. And a nickname for these pinks are Humpies. Humpies. And the reason why they have that nickname is because of that arch on their back. When they really start to spawn out, it's very pronounced, as you can see in this picture here. But that's why they have a nickname of Humpies. It's because they uh, they get that great big hunchback. So there's a tip that you may not have known. All right, let's catch another fish. Fish on. Fish on. <laughs> fish on. Mark's hooked up. It's a bull trout. All right. Look at that guy. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Very cool. Nice. Yeah, it's a pig. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. Nice fish. Oh, nice Good job. Sweet. <laughs> oh yeah, fish on. Nice. Sweet. These things are so much fun. Magic fly, magic sink tip. It's just all magic right there. Fish on. <laughs> oh, that's a nice fish. That's a good sight one. Nice. Nice. Double high five. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Nicely done. Shooting the rapids. <laughs> nice job, Mark. <laughs> that got a little tricky in there. I know. I was like, oh, my rods are a little far back. Oh, no. <laughs> I wasn't even fishing. <laughs> I just was holding out. Well, I can officially check pinks off the list on the fly rod. What a great day on the Skagit River with Mark and Brian. Just, just spectacular fishing, spectacular company. Thanks for joining me on this uh, pink fishing trip and until the next time. All right, guys, fish on. <laughs>